Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. Uh, I've actually pre-recorded this message a few days ago because today I am away. I'm in Dusseldorf in Germany, uh, participating in a, a Prayer Sunday event uh, with the Pentecostal European Fellowship. And then we have the Presidium, the Council of the Fellowship, meets on, uh, meets on Monday. So um, being in, be, going away to Dusseldorf made me remember an event that happened in Dusseldorf that would seem quite simple, seem quite an everyday event almost, and yet it had amazing significance for church history. There was a, a wealthy young nobleman uh, was in an art gallery in Dusseldorf, and he was looking at some paintings, and he saw a painting of uh, Jesus on the cross. I was just captivated by it and just stood in front of it and stared at it. And... Uh, Underneath were written these words, all this I did for you, what will you do for me? And that young man left that art gallery with those words implanted in his heart and determined to do something great for Jesus. Well, his name was Nicholas Count von Zinzendorf. And uh, at his country estate at Herrenhut, he had a group of refugees arrived at the gates sh seeking shelter. Uh, these refugees were from the, the Czech lands, from Bohemia, and uh, they were basically remnants of the revival movement that had began under Jan Hus, but had been cruelly persecuted. And they were still going from place to place trying to find shelter. And Nicholas Count von Zinzendorf thought about those words he'd seen in the art gallery in Dusseldorf. All this I did for you. What are you going to do for me? And he said, maybe this is it. So he invited these refugees into his country estate and he accommodated them. And they were people of prayer and they began a prayer meeting. That prayer meeting lasted 100 years nonstop. And as a result of that prayer meeting, there were missionaries were sent out all over the world. And some of those missionaries went to America. And as they were crossing the sea, there was a mighty storm and it looked like the ship was about to sink. And everyone on the ship was panicking, even the, the sailors and everyone else, uh, all the, certainly all the other passengers on the boat. But these refugees, these, Roma these Moravians, they knelt down together in a circle and began to pray and to praise God. And there was another young man on that ship who was also travelling out as a missionary from the Church of England. Uh, he wasn't a successful missionary. He returned home in defeat and failure with a broken love affair and a lot of scandal attached to his name, went back to Britain again from America. But in the midst of his own faith not working out the way it should, because he didn't actually know Jesus in a personal way, he couldn't shake the memory of those Moravians who had knelt in a circle on the ship and prayed and worshipped in the middle of the storm. And so that young Englishman, when he got back to, to England, he went to a Moravian prayer meeting and there he uh, he heard the gospel, really heard the gospel for the first time, gave his life to Jesus. And his name was John Wesley, of course, the founder of Methodism. Now, Nicholas Count von Zinzendorf continued uh, as a preacher and as an influence for the gospel for many years. He wrote a number of hymns. Some of his hymns are still sung in Lutheran churches in, in German to, to, to this very day. And when uh, when he died, his funeral was a massive event. Huge crowds turned out for it. There were 32 gospel preachers came to the funeral who basically took it in turns to carry his coffin. And uh, those people looked at it and said they'd never seen a funeral like it. That a king couldn't have a better funeral and a more joyous funeral, a uh, funeral that showed how many lives he had touched. A king would not have a more significant funeral than Nicholas Count von Zinzendorf. But it all began in an art gallery in Dusseldorf. What, Jesus, I did all this for you. What will you do for me? You see, sometimes you can have everyday encounters in the most unexpected places, and yet it can change your life forever. And my prayer is that today, you would have an encounter with Jesus Christ that would change your life forever, give you meaning and give you purpose. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drahada.